Hey, yo, what up? You know who it is, man. It's the one only Mr. Thanksgiving DJ Drama. Says 4-5, nothing but fire, man. Pay attention. Don't get mad. Don't get nervous. Just catch up, niggas. Hey. It's your dude. Ain't no holding it down for It's All Good TV, man. It's popping off in a major way. Industry Influence 40th Edition. You already know, man. They say it wouldn't last, but it is in their face, us. Oh, man. Nothing but fire records in the building. Night Wall Skull, Desire Rider. Straight up, you heard me. Sess 45 is in the building. All good in the hood. All good TV. Getting the exclusives. You heard, man. Industry Influence number 40. Man, what's good with it? You know? Man, it's good, man. You guys had a whole bunch of artists come through over the years. Three years not strong, man. How does it make you feel to know that you made a major, major impact and still making a major impact on the city music? Oh, man, it definitely feels real good to be instrumental in making a lot of uh, music from this city flow out of this city, you know what I'm saying? And, and inspire other people to do what they do, you know what I'm talking about? Because this event here, we done sparked a lot of other industry nights, nights where people get to showcase their talent throughout the week. Well, you know, if you don't do a certain type of music, you can still come in and get to perform and, you know, showcase your talent. So I think, you know, this event helped launch, launch a few careers and it also helped spark some industry nights where people get to bubble up. Tell me, tell some of the people what Industry Influence is all about and what can they do and what can they come showcase here? Well, Industry Influence is about getting all the people in the industry together. So if you're in the entertainment business, whether you model, you do beats, you write, you know, you do poetry, uh, whatever you do, if you make the artwork, the covers and all that, it's about everybody coming together, networking, saying, you know, I do this, I do that, give me your number, let me give you my number, follow me on Twitter, I got a video shoot, come to my video shoot. So it's about networking, then we pull big industry people, professionals who've been in the industry to tell you, you know, I did this. So if you do some of this here, you know, and uh, put this in your career, get your business all the way together, you could be successful in the game. And so I think with all those different components, having Wild Wayne from Q93 a part of it, having all the different media outlets come through, and the fans of the music come support, you know, I think it just, you know, it, it, it just been a good run. And we over three years strong now, and I think we're going to continue to blossom. Man, y'all got somebody huge coming in, which y'all do every, every month. Every first Monday of the month, y'all got somebody who's coming through. That's no different tonight. DJ Drama definitely in the building, coming to holler and do his thing, man. I mean, he's going to be talking. Tell me what he's going to be talking about tonight. Well, of course, we bring somebody real big every first month, in month every first Monday of every month. But uh, DJ Drama is going to talk about his brand, the Gangster Grills brand, his mixtape series, how he got it started, you know, uh, the controversy, you know, of course, you know, what he done to get some of the major acts that he got to establish his Gangster, Gr Gangster Grills brand, and then, you know, hopefully encourage some other folks to start their own brand and also, you know, be a part of his Gangster Grill brand and then, uh, you know, keep pursuing their career. So, you know, I, I, I expect him to talk about his rise, you know, his whole little incident with the FBI and all that, you know what I'm saying, coming in, you know, into his house and then being successful after that and how to keep being successful and going to different countries as a DJ, DJing in different cities and, you know, all over. Man, you also got some other media outlets on your second panel. You got Bonos TV, Two Cent TV, um, and a bunch of other people. Let us know about the second panel. Well, the second panel is about videos going viral. You know what I'm saying? Videos taking off and stuff like that. So we want to talk about the folks from New Orleans who got on MTV. So that's why we got D1 and Wide Dot Luck on that panel. But we also got people like the Two Cent, the Craigos, who get videos launched uh, on uh, World Star Hip Hop and YouTube and, you know, like Nati, who, you know, you, you get this big media craze, you know what I'm saying, where folks be able to see you online. How do you get your video really out there to the masses? So we pulled all them in so they could talk about really what do they do to get their video out there, you know, get 40, 50,000, 100,000 views on YouTube, you know, that almost instantly. You know, so. Wow, yeah, man. It's going down in a major way right here. Sets for five. Indian industry influence. You already know what it is, man. We're getting it in right here. Man, thank you, man. Thank you for having all good TV out.
and we really appreciate hanging out with oh, you, man. man. I appreciate all good in the hood. Y'all always support me. Y'all been supporting me for years. Nothing but fire. Record store 1840 North Claymont. And y'all know they've been pumping my video real heavy. I'm so stingy. Featuring Miss T. It's coming up next. Y'all check it out. Y'all take a look at it. Keep voting on the countdown, too. Hang out. We'll be right back with more It's All Good TV.